Welcome back to Sejo South Africa. I'm Nicky Nash as always and today you guys join me inside the Volkswagen T-Cross Comfort Line and I'm going to tell you every single thing you need to know about this vehicle from the exterior look of the vehicle, interior look of the vehicle and the drive of the vehicle. So speaking about the exterior look of the vehicle, the most important thing is this car has been around for quite some time and a lot of my audience, well you guys that are watching, have always have commented in past videos that you want to see a T-Cross but the new T-Cross and I'm happily here to tell you that I am revealing this one so that when the new one comes I have a basis, to, uh, something to base it on. So the facelift is coming in the next couple of months. Um, if you watched the video that I did of the Volkswagen in Daba where they were telling us which vehicles are coming into the country this year, you will know that the T-Cross facelift is on its way and it looks beautiful but we'll speak about that in its own video let's speak about the one that i'm in right now so the extra look of the vehicle is fine for a small compact SUV. i like the look of the vehicle um it's not too out there it's not too complicated it just it just gets the job done it looks good i've always been a fan of the volkswagen t cars um from the extra look of the vehicle something that i'm not a fan of is it doesn't come as standard with led headlamps so if you look at the one that i'm currently in respect with all these nice features in terms of interior the adaptive cruise you can pack itself but it comes with halogen headlamps and it's something that i'm not a fan of because why am i paying 400,000 rand nowadays uh, in this day and age 400,000 rand for a vehicle that doesn't have um leds as standard so yeah it's my it's only my that's my only flaw with the issue look at the vehicle is the fact that it doesn't have led headlamps moving on to the interior of the vehicle this car feels and looks like a polo and that's a good thing because i love the polo so there's not too much going on in terms of the interior you get this lovely digital instrument cluster you get the touchscreen infotainment system the steering wheel with normal buttons not the not those haptic feedback buttons you get with normal buttons and it feels okay when you drive when you're inside the vehicle the seats as well are decent enough they are not necessarily hugging but they are supportive so i do like that about the interior of the vehicle it is spacious it does feel a bit more spacious than a polo i'm not too sure if it actually is um but yeah the interior of the vehicle is okay it gets the job done decent enough um so when you move on to the drive of the vehicle since this feels like a polo from the interior do you feel like you're in a polo in terms of the ride height since this being a, a higher vehicle no you don't um so you can tell that you're higher than the polo so if you want a polo but do you want something with ground clearance i'll tell you to go for the volkswagen t cross and speaking of the volkswagen t cross the one that i'm in is a 70 kilowatt one five speed manual so this pretty so this one is a one liter tsi engine producing 70 kilowatts and 175 newton meters of torque so for what the car is for day-to-day -day driving it's decent enough i do like the the power that you first find in here it gets the job done I, there hasn't been a point where i'd want more power in such a vehicle but if you don't want a manual t-cross you have two options you can opt for an automatic in the comfort line range which will bump you up to the 70 and um, to the 85 kilowatt um engine one and if you want a high line you'll get that as standard in the 85 kilowatt um, engine but if you want the r line you go all the way up to 110 um, kilowatts and should be 250 newton meters of torque so that is for the size of the vehicle that is a lot and the car will be punchy i've been in the 110 in a different vehicle and that car was punchy so i can imagine it in something like a t-cross it is a punchy um offering from vw but focusing on the one that i'm in drives all the manual is a smooth manual just like a polo um, there's no, I don't have flaws with it. My only flaw, and I always say this, is the table lag. That's one. But somehow, in this one, is not too much. Or maybe I've just gotten used to the Volkswagen turbo lag because um, I had the Polo for like what a whole month. So I must probably just gotten used to it. But yeah, it is there. So you do know, as someone like me that have driven a lot of VWs, you know, you need to know where it is, and you'll get over it. Um, that's something in regards to the drive of the vehicle. So for the T-Cross that I'm in, um, for 400,000 Rand, you get this T-Cross and it comes as standard with a 3-year, 120,000 kilometer warranty and a 3-year, 45,000 um, service plan with 15,000 kilometer service intervals. And it's something I'm not a fan of because why am I, why is it 3 years? I feel like it is, every motor manufacturer should be 5 years as standard, uh, but VW always 
me say three years but you can obviously extend it but i just wish i standard it came with five years um now time to speak about cost of ownership as you guys are eagerly waiting to, for me to tell you the pricing of this vehicle so the one i'm in the comfort line at standard without options or anything like that is priced at 400,000 rand then you can go up to the high line um just that's price just in, a, in and around 450 to 480 and then you get the r line that's priced at 521,000 right and that's the one that comes the 110 um, kilowatt um engine so do you really need that engine no you don't do you really need an r line no you don't because the, i'm in a comfort line with r line um, extra finishes, so you don't need, necessarily need to pay five hundred thousand rand for Pearl, for not a Pearl, I mean, for Volkswagen T Cross. You can just get a comfort line, and get the job done. Um, so, though, if you take the one I'm in as standard without um, any optional extras for four hundred thousand rand, and you finance it over a period of five years, which is sixty months, at an interest rate of twelve point two five percent with no deposit, you are looking at paying eight thousand nine hundred rand for the Volkswagen T Cross. The effect of you into that just brings it just under ten thousand rand. So let's just say ten thousand rand total cost of ownership without insurance for this vehicle. You already have a lot of money that you'll be paying for just standard T Cross. So why go a hundred thousand rand more for the R line one ten kilowatt T Cross, whereas it's just more or less the same thing, just a different engine. There's really no need for the top of the range 500,000 rand T-Cross because it will take your, your monthly repayments to a higher price. And once you're in that price range, you're playing around a lot more other vehicles. So that's with regards to the T-Cross, my thoughts. Would I tell you to get this vehicle? If you're a Volkswagen fan and you really love the Volkswagen products and you come from a Polo, for example, and you want to move into something that reminds you of a Polo of sorts, then I 100% tell you, you Yes, go for the T-Cross, you will get the job done. Tell me that you have 10,000 rand to spend on monthly payments on a vehicle. I'll tell you to weigh down your options first before going for the T-Cross. But I've told you everything you need to know. Um, I'm Nicky Nash from Future South Africa and I'll see you in the next one.